Hello, Leos. Get your coffee and get comfortable with me, will you? <clears throat> this is a beef reading for the sign of Leo. Beef is the acronym that I kind of came up with. Uh, business, employment, and finance. We all want to hear about family relationships, um, romance, community things, but sometimes you just really need more insight on finance, um, on your employment, on what's going on in the business world. Um, it is a different, it is a trying time that we are living in. So any kind of insight that you can uh, get that would help you bypass some of the hurdles and obstacles in that road to keeping a roof over your head. All right, this is for Leo. Oh, really rattled everything over there, didn't I? One more time. I don't know. It just told me one more time. All right, drop down in the comment section, please. Let me know. Like, subscribe, and share. <clears throat> Um, give me your comments. Give me your feedback. I need to know what kind of content you like, and that's one way to let me know. All right, Leo. You've got the Nine of Pentacles. You've got the King of Swords. Leo, Leo. This is a financial reading for Leo. Ah. Okay, the King of Swords. We've got the Eight of Wands. We have the Three of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles and the Devil. Okay. Leo, that is you in a nutshell. Bam. Um, in the past, <clears throat> in the recent past, this has been you. You have always been in charge of your own finances. You had been stable. You had been confident. And <clears throat> things have changed. You have um, swapped a partner in business, perhaps taken in another partner. Um, you have made some changes and they have really weakened you. Um, when you go into the not, or excuse me, the King of Swords energy in reverse, you know, the King's usually pretty confident. He knows what to say and when to say it. Um, he has a tendency to be sharp tongued, but only because he wants to try to help you and, and make things easier and better for you. Leo, you have been saying some of the wrong things. You have been... You, let's just say you're, the sharp tongue kind of came out a little bit, okay? Um, you're getting ready to have some... Here's some communication about a change for you. Now this, I'm beginning to feel like this is somebody that could be um, self-employed with small business. You know, it might be a little t-shirt shop kind of thing. Um, you could be um, doing some printing. You know, this could be uh, one of those home jewelry businesses, even um, for Leos out there. Um, I see a lot of uh, jewelry and chains dripping off of what's going on here on the table. Um, we've got the um, Eight of Wands here. You know, there's communication getting ready to come through about uh, a possibility to change partnerships, to bring somebody else in, maybe um, take some load off of you. Um, it's not coming in very fast. We have the Knight of Pentacles. It is kind of going to be two steps forward and one back for you, Leo. You're, you're regaining confidence financially in yourself. Um, if you have been working for yourself, this, you know, this pandemic has really affected you a lot. And... <clears throat> You hadn't had the opportunity to, to, to make your living the way you had. Um, things changed. It was unfamiliar. You didn't um, didn't have a whole lot of confidence um, going into this thing. You have the Three of Wands energy, which is um, kind of contemplating all of the options you do have. You know, you're looking out right out over the, the horizon. You know that there's more out there. You know that there's better out there. Um, you've kind of been spinning your wheels. 
the devil card comes up uh, in this for Leo. Uh, Leo, you might want to be careful that you aren't, you know, you've been worried about finances and if you're going to keep your job and keep position, keep money flowing, you know, keep the roof over your head. But you've had a tendency to fall back on some too much recreation. Uh, a little too much wine, you know, maybe one more glass of wine at the end of the night, maybe an extra bottle of bourbon by the end of the week. You have to be careful, Leo. You ca you're carrying some addictive tendencies right now with all this uncertainty that's going on around you. So don't let that devil get a hold of you. Some clarification cards for Leo. We got the Queen of Swords upright. Six of Swords in reverse. The Hangman and the Fool. Well, let me tell you, Leo, you've you've really done the work. You've put some time in on on this business that you've got. Uh, you know, this could simply be, you know, you could be a dog walker as far as I'm concerned, but you been management and you've been, you know, the, uh, the sole proprietor, excuse me, sole proprietor, so to speak. And that's where that queen of swords energy comes in. You know, you've been the one in charge. You haven't wanted to step down and relinquish, um, and say, look, I'm not getting this done. I'm not doing it right. You know, I'm, I'm having a kind of a tough time right now is what I'm feeling for Leo. Um, Leo, you've got a, you're on a working on a project right now, whether, you are needing a complete, let's just say you had a, a t-shirt print shop and you're printing t-shirts and you need to have 500 quota done um, for a company by a certain date. You're not going to get that done. You're going to fall short of that, Leo. Uh, there's a date that's coming up for you that you're, you're going to miss. Um, yeah, and that is the uh, Six of Swords there. Now, the six is upside down. The six normally means, hmm, let's see, what is it, six normally? How do I want to break this down? Success, okay? It normally means success. It's in reverse. The success is going to come, but you're not going to see it right now. You've got to make this change with this partnership. Um, I do believe somebody has been stealing from you, Leo. Um, you know, the hangman is here in reverse. He's usually just hanging around biding his time. I often read this card as a legal issue. You know, the hangman doesn't get hung unless he has gone through the judicial system, the legal system, and been prosecuted. So you may have something coming up that you need to be careful of and keep an eye open for. You may have, um, you know, papers, taxes, insurance, that kind of thing that's coming up. But um, Leo, it's, it's going to pop up for you. Um, so just be ready for it. No big deal. You know, it's one of those things you've always handled. You've always been able to get um, things done. And here we have the Fool card. You know, the Fool card is that light, whimsical way that we approach something so brand new. You know, like when we don't know the pitfalls of it completely, we just kind of dive in and, oh man, I love this. I love this. And then a little later on, you start to feel... You know, gravity of, okay, now I know the whole job is a little heavier, but you're going to get that uh, fresh outlook back, Leo. You're getting ready to make some kind of change, whoever this person is that um, has been kind of uh, stealing from the coffers. It's kind of been weakening you and weakening you. Uh, you've just about had your fill. I... I'm going to advise Leo to um, keep your temper under control because what I'm feeling here is opportunity to maybe uh, blow a gasket. <clears throat> Pull up two more cards, clarify the moon. Something is coming to light. 
And the end of that uh, business partnership is going to go by the wayside. Um, we've got the moon card in reverse. You know, some light's going to come on this. Some light is going to be shed on this situation. You haven't seen the depth of it yet. Um, something is going to bring it to light. There's going to be some discussion with you and the partner. And you are going to hear things that you may not want to hear necessarily. And it is followed by the last card is the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles is perhaps you going to somebody else for some guidance um, and maybe new employment here. You may be searching and applying, putting your application in and working for somebody else for a while. Um, it might be just time for Leo to just kick back and relax a little bit. Um, you know, you've had a, you've been dealing with a lot of uh, a lot of failure here in uh, recent months on a lot of little issues, uh, even in your personal life as well as your finance and business life. So just kick back and take some time. Um, regroup. You don't need to get everything done at once, and it doesn't always have to be uh, perfect. <clears throat> All right, Leos, um, I'm going to check out on you now. And that wraps it up for today. And I never leave without saying love and light, you guys. See you soon.